Hello, this is Daniel Blaze. My name is Daniel, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Fabric Mod Loader for Minecraft 1.18. That's right, in this video, we're gonna be installing Fabric for Minecraft 1.18. If you don't know how to do that, this is the perfect video for you because in this one, I'm gonna be explaining it step by step. Before we get started, just a few things. Hit that thumbs up if you already enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more videos like this one. And last but not least, all the useful links that you're gonna to need to actually install Fabric for Minecraft 1.18 will be down in the description. So the first thing you do is open up your browser because the first thing we're gonna be downloading is actual Fabric Mod Loader for Minecraft 1.18. You can look everything up yourself, but there'll also be a link down below in the description to danielplace.net and that post that it will link to will contain all the links. So if you don't want to look anything up yourself and you wanna be lazy, you can do so. And you can actually just use that post and just click the links in there. A quick Google search for Fabric Mod Loader will also work. You're going to go to fabricmc.net and then over here, it's very well hidden. It says download here and you can click the word here. Now you click the installer. If you're on Windows, always go with this one because it's way easier. You don't have to fix any Java issues, etc. If you're on any other operating system, you probably will have Java installed. So this one will work, but on Windows, it can be a little bit of trouble. So just go with the EXE installer. If you're on Windows, it will download the fabric installer. You click it and it will open. As you can see, this is the fabric installer. You need to select Minecraft version 1.18. It usually selects that by default because that is the latest version as of recording this video. Make sure it says create profile and click install. If you still have the Minecraft launcher open, you need to close that. And now you can click yes. After a few seconds or sometimes just a hundredth of a second, it will say successfully installed. And then you click OK, close this. And now you've actually already installed Fabric for 1.18. Now, sometimes it may say you need to run Minecraft 1.18 first. So what you do in that case is you go over to the Minecraft launcher. And as you can see, for me, it's already successfully installed Fabric Loader for 1.18. But what you need to do, if it doesn't work, you click latest release 1.18 and then just click play and it will actually download 1.18 first because sometimes things like Forge and Fabric actually require you to install 1.18 first so they can patch that installation and add mods to it. So for some mods, you'll actually have to go to Fabric API right here, which is fairly simple. You'll be sent to this Curse Forge page. You just click Fabric API you click download under Minecraft 1.18, you'll be redirected to this ad page where you have to wait five seconds and then your download will start. There you go. It'll be a .jar file, but if you use the links that I've shown you, you can just click keep. Now what you wanna do is actually look up your mods. So this mod is called Terralith and it actually uses vanilla Minecraft blocks to add a whole bunch of cool structures to Minecraft 1.18. As you can see, this mod is actually updated 24 minutes ago. I just stumbled upon this mod and I thought it was really cool. So that's the one we're going to be using for this video. You can use any other Fabric 1.18 compatible mods you want. Just download as many of them as you like, as long as, you know, their pages list that they're compatible. Just click the download button as we did with the Fabric API one. Just wait five seconds and then your download will start. Once again, it will be a .jar file, so you have to click keep. Now, Fabric API is not required for Terralith, I believe, but for some other mods it is. So that's why I wanted to show you real quick how to actually add that to your mods. So here we are. These are the downloads, the things we just downloaded. And I'm going to click show in folder. Here we go. That's the two files we're going to need to drag over to some other place. So what you want to do now is go over to your search bar and type in percent app data percent and hit enter. Now you'll find the dot Minecraft folder here, at least if you've actually played Minecraft before. And now if you actually never played mods before, you won't have a mods folder. So what you need to do is actually right click somewhere, hover new, click folder, and then name it mods lowercase. That's that. And now we can actually double click this folder and we drag in these two files just like that. And once they've been moved over to mods, you're good to go. We can now actually launch Minecraft with the fabric profile to see the mod in action. So here we are in the Minecraft launcher. What you want to do is go over to the bottom left corner here, select the correct profile because you need to select fabric loader for the mods to actually be loaded into Minecraft. Click it and then click play. It will give you this warning if you've never played fabric before in this launcher. 
it will let you know about the risks. So be sure to read this. I've already done this multiple times, so it, I actually do understand the risks and you can just take this box and click play. So there we are. We actually have successfully launched Minecraft 1.18 with fabric as you can clearly tell in the bottom left corner it says minecraft 1.18 slash fabric modded so i'm gonna hop into a world and actually show you the mod in action so here we are in modded minecraft 1.18 with the terralith 2.0 mod now of course the world generation looks crazy and that is mainly of course due to the actual 1.18 update adding huge changes to the world generation as we know it but there's also the contribution of the Terralith 2.0 mod. As you can see, these structures do not generate in 1.18 naturally as far as I know. So that's it. That's how you install fabric with mods for Minecraft 1.18. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it actually taught you how to install fabric for Minecraft 1.18. If it did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos like this one. And then as always, I will of course catch you in the next one. See ya!